Sawete. Zuconius, the philosopher here. And, uh, forgive me for my, uh, spaciness, my, uh, my dissonance, my... Yeah. Um, I just finished watching the, uh, the debate between, uh, Slavaj Zizek and Jordan Peterson. Um, now... Before I, I get into this, um, I, I do want to share my thoughts uh, on the debate, um, as I, I'm just finishing it now, and, and I'm someone who is who's currently on Rule 5 of reading Jordan Peterson's book, 12 Rules to Life. Uh, I was not aware of who uh, Shlava Zizek was before watching this, and afterwards, I, I must say, I'm, I'm quite uh, startled, in a sense. Um, uh, both are, are quite characters, and, I, and you can see it in Jordan Peterson's uh, just expression. Um, he's just absolutely fascinated by this man, and I, I really was too, because Zizek poses some of the some some of the greatest thinking I've I've heard. Um, uh, in in unfortunately a pessimistic way, but uh, but very rightfully so. Uh, and it it has changed my views on pessimism and optimism and understanding the two um but first i want to preface this with with what this debate really is and uh, this is something that that a few people have already talked about uh, i saw it in a youtube comment and um in fact let me let me pull the youtube comment up real quick because it's it's a very it's a very good explanation of of one of the issues um that that we face, um, and it's it's one of the reasons that this debate, unfortunately, will will never really. Uh, I mean, I I really hope it does, but um, more than likely, this debate won't reach a lot of people. Many people will not sit through the three hours of this debate. Um, and and so I'm gonna I'm gonna read this comment by Cameron Die. Um, people treating this like a competition have it completely backwards. What you see are two people agreeing on certain problems and coming to potential solutions or conclusions from different perspectives and approaches. What we see here is potentially the most valuable thing to society you could hope. One perspective isn't enough to fix our problems. The more conversations we have, the better. Now... Unfortunately, I'm not having a conversation with anyone. It's just me. And uh, I hope that I can start to have conversations with people uh, as I go uh, and continue this channel. Um, because truly, that is, that is what I, I, I hope to accomplish in my life, honestly, uh, is communication. Um, Dr. Shlavaj Zizek is uh, through and through a philosopher, an admirable one at that, um, known for his very critical thinking uh, and very strange character. Um, he, is, he is definitely a unique, uh, a unique person, and um, it's just fascinating how he... he first of all, he's... he's um, I believe Slovenian, and so the entire conversation he's having is not in his native language, and yet he is able to, if you listen, if you really dial into him, you're able to really pick up what he's putting down, um, and he's able to, to creatively talk about the problems in our society that, that are really hitting us the hardest and and one thing that that is uh the the topic of the debate is uh is marxism happiness and communism and by the end of the debate the debate it was very much focused around the conversation and the topic of happiness uh now jordan peterson on the other hand is is a clinical psychologist was a college teacher a canadian college teacher for for a while and i believe still might be but um I know him with a little. I've I've known him and have been following him for a little while, 
Uh, he's he's honestly uh, changed the way I think about a lot of things and um, helped me to create my own structure and helped me to think about things in my own way, uh, I guess I should say, uh, rather than just tell me how to think. He's taught me how to teach myself how to think. He's he's a meta teacher in a sense, like and there's there's something about this debate that just is concerning. It's 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 scary. It's uh it's it's quite horrifying overall just listening to this, but at the same time the fact that these two brilliant minds were able to come together and talk about really what's what's facing us in in today's age is is beautiful um and it, it saddens me that so many will never view this but would rather look at uh ufc or or sports where uh it's just two people beating each other up for money or uh or uh athletic competition uh, rather than actual uh, communication and uh, the sharing of ideas for a common goal and in reach trying to trying to align to a common cause um, and so I implore you if you if you really do want to uh, have a deeper understanding of uh, reality. Um, find yourself a, a competent philosopher. Uh, I believe both uh, Zizek and Peterson are are great examples. Uh, don't just stick to one, though. I think I think I would like to. I would like to hear. I'm, I'm not. I'm going to keep this short. I'm at seven minutes already, and I'm I'm clearly spaced out, and I'm not the person to really. Uh, educate on this subject I'm simply here to give my reaction and if there's anything that I can I can take away from this it's the two things that each philosopher ended the the debate with and on Peterson's end when he was asked if there was anything that you would hope that people would take from this debate it is uh, Peterson says that he just hopes that people can understand the power of communication and that while uh, it can be dissonant, it can be painful to talk to someone of an opposing viewpoint, it can hurt um, and there will be arguments and there will be anger and there will be emotions, but having these conversations with people who, who really have very opposing viewpoints than you uh, can end on such a positive note and both of you can walk away understanding a little bit more about yourselves and the people around you. Um, in the words of Ben Franklin, uh, oh, I don't know the exact words, dang, but, oh, you know what? It's okay, that's okay. You know, I prepared for this. I, I have the quote. I have the quote. Um, in the words of Ben Franklin... Uh, love your enemies, for they tell you your faults. Um, I think that's another good way to describe what what uh, Peterson was was trying to get at uh, from a different angle, per se. And Zizek had a, a more specific, less less abstract um, uh, idea that he wanted people to walk away with, and. That is uh, to not be afraid to think. Um, and he said specifically to leftists. Um, so if you're a leftist, he said this for you. Um, don't, as a leftist, don't be afraid to think. Uh, don't feel obliged to be politically correct. You don't have to be a politically correct leftist. That's what Zizek's words were. Um in essence, um, that, that you, you should not feel stifled because you're on the left and because the left is associated with political correctness. Don't feel like you have to be a part of that. Um, 
think about things. If there's anything that I can take away from this, it is think about things. Ask questions. Talk to people. Um, truly a, a beautiful, beautiful conversation. And, and I'm going to have to watch it again at some point to fully uh, grasp it because it's, it, it was just a conversation of intellectuals that just went above my head at points. I found myself having to look up. I still don't quite understand postmodernism and, uh, and, uh, like Marxism and, and the, the ideas that they really brought about, I, I still don't fully understand them, but I, I understand the ideas and the, the abstractions that they, they were bringing about. And I think that's, that's the biggest thing that you can take out of this is from both of the, I think both of them could, would agree that the that what you should be taking from that debate and what what everyone should have on their minds in today's world especially is don't be afraid to communicate and don't be afraid to think for yourself um perspective is so important bias exists for a reason because for every bias on one end there is a flip side um we're hitting 11 minutes, so I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slow it down now. Uh, thank you for watching this entire video. I I hope I was able to uh, send across some sort of of I guess direction or or some sort of just hope. I guess that's really what I'm what I'm trying to uh, to put out here is that. There are great minds working on the problems that exist today. And you can watch them, um, but you have to sit through three hours of mind-boggling conversation that you will not get. Um, so just know that it's it's you know that's it's these things are 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 being worked on. Not like we're we're all clueless in this, but we're all clueless together, and um, we can't come up with a solution on our own. The solution is is unanimous the solution is is collectively created and um that takes time that takes a lot of effort it takes a lot of dedication it takes patience it takes pretty much every virtue that aristotle mentioned uh his 12 virtues and uh it takes love you you really have to care um I think not giving a fuck is is going out of style. And with that, I will I will leave you. Um, thank you for listening, Zuconius the philosopher, the aspiring philosopher. Uh, for I am far from the great minds that uh, are really tackling the questions of the day. Um, at your service. Peace out. Have a good one. Goodbye.